Uh, radio. Oh God, there we go. Haha. <laughs> so that didn't go quite as well as I thought it would. Let's see. Let's get the noise suppression is up. So all of my settings got borked. <laughs> all of my settings got borked on uh, what I'm doing here. So uh, sorry if I'm a little bit scattered, but oh my gosh, we are finally back. Good evening, everyone, live around the world. This is Grinia. Today is February the 2nd, 2022. It is day 845 of the Flight of the Phoenix. 
Amazingly, we still have 200 followers on Twitch. I figured we'd have dropped below long before now, considering how terrible my streaming habits have been. But oh my god, we're back, and we've got something right out of my channel's history. The first actual video I did that wasn't a channel trailer or stream highlights was Sky Factory 4, and this is the remake of... Hang on. This is the remake of the original Sky Factory. Sky Factory 1, hence its name, Sky Factory 1. So, yeah. anyway, I have not opened this up yet. Like, this is my first look at it. Okay. Bonus chest won't matter, because, uh... I turn cheats on just so we're not breaking the game with bugs. Game rules, respawn immediately. No, require a recipe for crafting. Drowning damage, yes. Hold it, yeah. Keep inventory. Simply because I know I'm going to start falling into the void every two seconds. Oh my gosh. Okay, so while this is creating the world, we get this beautiful background. We get awesome music thanks to Pretzel Rocks, Pretzel Premium. I love having that. Um, but first things first, we're back. We're, we're finally back, and I'm finally in a condition where I feel up to do, you know, all the streams in the world. Because of the way my work schedule is right now, hi, Malik. Oh, let me go ahead and do the uh, greetings here. Let's see. Uh, Gamester4 is here. Uh, Guggles underscore is here. Ross, I'm, I'm not going to bother trying to pronounce your name. Uh, Pyralized One is, of course, here. Sony Playstations, don't know who that is. Malachi Re, of course, Malak is here. Uh, it says, you primed. Awesome. Um, I should hopefully see that. I wonder why it didn't notify me. That's really weird. I'll have to make sure that my alert box is not broken. Ah! Oh, there it is. It's just being a little bit slow. Yeah, oh yeah, that's right, for free subs, or for subs, that's right, you do have to share it. I'm a dingbat, I completely forgot about that. Like, that, that's, that's me being dumb, okay. Uh -huh. So, this is Sky Factory 1. It's the 1.16.5, I'm gonna resize my that's a bit large. Give me scale two, please. Like, I'm used to a smaller display size here. Come on. Do I get any saplings? If I don't get any saplings, I am so screwed. <laughs> well, not really, but I'd have to restart the world. And I punched a hole in the floor, I guess. Okay, um... Come on. So anyway, channel announcements. Yes, we're back to regular daily streams. It's Wednesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays, Sundays, Mondays, and Tuesdays. There are no streams on Fridays for a few assorted reasons. Um, it's Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, or Wednesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays, and Sundays, 6 to 7 Eastern. That's 3 to 4 Pacific. I did not get any saplings. Bollocks. <laughs> um... It's Wednesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays, and Sundays are 6 to 7 Eastern. On Mondays and Tuesdays, there's a stream from 6 to 8 Eastern, and then another one from 10 to 12 Eastern. So Mondays and Tuesdays are going to be the extra stream days for now. Um, let's try again. see just how many tries it takes us here.
No worries, and I'm sorry to hear about uh, your friend's uh, family bereavement. Uh, please pass along my condolences. So I guess the fact that I'm having to sort of smash around and try and find a damn uh, sapling here is a bit of a good thing because it allows me to fill in some more time with channel announcements. Um, this month, of course, we have the uh, new streams. Videos are coming back to my YouTube channel. Uh, YouTube channels, I should say. I have two of them. Uh, we got a sapling. Yes. All right. So... Phoenix Aura, the Phoenix Aura YouTube channel, is the first one that's going to have content coming back to it in the form of the vlogcast. Uh, that's going to be happening right now. My plan is every three days I'll just record like a short five to ten minute vlogcast and post it on the Phoenix Aura channel starting on February 15th. And then on February 16th, so two weeks from now, uh, I'll have the return of game videos to the Arinia channel with Kerbal Universe. Uh, Kerbal Universe Resurrections. That new series. Damn it. I lost my sap. I'm trying to talk and Sky Factory at the same time. Damn it. I lost it. Ow. Ah, oh, that almost ended very badly. But at least we have one sapling. We still have a shot here. Okay, so let's see. I'm also lagging a little bit, which is a yeah. little weird. What is my current frame rate? 37. I'll have to muck around with well, that at some point. Why am I being pinged? This is just for the system, I do Who will be pinging me? Oh, uh, someone replied to my announcement in... your server, Malik. <laughs> yeah, 37 frames with one... That's why I'm confused, too. It shouldn't be running this crap. I usually have much better luck with uh, Minecraft here. Okay, that would have been bad news had I lost my crafting table. But we're gonna... Yeah, it's it's a 116 pack pyro. And it's not one that I've really optimized very much. Like I said, this is the first time I've opened the pack. So I haven't done much mucking around in the settings beyond what I normally do. I haven't installed Optifine or anything like that. So I'm not surprised that it's running a little garbage, but 37 FPS with one block in the world? That's a little ridiculous for this machine. Um, and that also brings me to a few other things. Of course, this month... We start with the return of streams, but I also have new um, Katron stuff. Uh, what I think I'm going to do is sort of a patron giveaway where every every patron, every Twitch subscriber, every monthly Streamlabs tipper will get some kind of gift from me. I'm thinking like a hand-drawn Great Phoenix logo. You know, signed, numbered. Something like that. You know, just something small that I can do to show my appreciation for the support. Because, I mean, I've had some patrons that have stuck with me through, quite frankly, hell and high water. Um, Infinite Flight, Pam, and somebody else. Um... That moment when I can't even remember the name of my patron. Oh God, this is this is terrible. I I, I don't have a list right in front of me, a and people already know I'm terrible with with remembering names. 
and Michael P. Leahy is the name. I would recommend putting in something that's not your full name if you're going to become a patron of mine, so that way I'm not doxing you every single time I give you a shout-out on my streams or videos. Oh, I feel terrible now. Ah! <laughs> Get around the block. So, so I'm going to be doing that, and I'd love to see more patron support. Of course, it's not required. It never has been. Never will be. That's... Is that the music? I think that was the music. But anyway, that's just never been my style. Oh. So, I, I'd love to see more support. It's not required. The, the only thing that patrons would get are, you know, just some occasional giveaways and early access to my videos in the future um, is my likely plan. I'm not, gonna, I'm not thinking I'm going to require, you know, supporting the channel for access to any kind of my content. That's not what I wanted to do when I started this channel. And I don't want to do any kind of sponsorships or anything like that. So the best way... The best way by far for me, I think, to support the channel is just to reach out to you guys. We've got the new website up at phoenixaura.xyz. And if you haven't checked that out, do check it out. It's 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 cool. You know, I, I did not expect that uh, it would turn out as well as it did, given me just sort of plunking around with it. You know, I'm pretty good at programming, at coding. I'm not the best at design in that one. I, I do good, you know, making patterns and designs and things. My Phoenix is my own creation. Uh, my Phoenix logo, that's my own thing. That's my own work. I did it myself. But I'm not good at, you know, layouts and stuff like that. That's... I just... I don't do it well. So... That was nice to see that it's turned out real well. Okay, this is more like the, I hope. I hope this is more like how I'm used to. Yeah, cult piece. Um, yeah, you sieve. That, this is what I'm used to in the Sky Factory world. Sky Factory 4. For those of you who don't remember my original series in Sky Factory 4, everything was the blasted resource trees, and I hated it. Because you had to have so many of them before you'd get enough of enough of the resources that you'd need to actually grow anything, and it was terrible, and I hated it. Sky Factory 2 was much better, and Sky Factory 1 before that, which this is a remake of. That's why I was... You know, it's, it's very simple stuff. <laughs> what? I, I'm sorry? I, I, huh? What? I wanted to read that. Task book. Barrels to compost saplings. Are there gimmicks to make stuff? Capture Wayne Ro Wayne Rotter. Yes. Wonderbar. I, I, I do speak... Hang on. I have to see if there's something here. I have to see if... Ah! Okay, so I, I, I had to... I remembered that with the crooks. Back in Sky Factory 2, the golden crook w w was not called just a gold crook. It was the golden Nixon. A a and its caption was, I am definitely a crook. And I, I, that just, oh my god, what has happened? I am, I, I, am I just gonna, okay. I did not just fall into oblivion. Good. <laughs> oh, good, we got a silkworm. Yes. Necessary things.
I probably sound completely deranged with how many different topics I'm carrying on about. But I am excited to be back streaming again. Like, I have been waiting to have the energy to just hit things full bore like I used to. And I'm really looking forward to the future. You know, streaming, sharing that experience with you guys. Just enjoying the community. So yeah, I would say definitely check out the Phoenix Aura website, phoenixaura.xyz. Like I said, that's the new website. Um, we're going to go ahead and take a quick break here. It's going to be a three-minute ad break, and then we shall return right after that. If you're, a, if you're a Twitch subscriber, of course, you don't have to worry about it. But for the rest of you, we'll be back in three minutes. Don't go away. All right, we're back. So we are back after that short three minute break. I'm rearranging a few things here because I did some crafting. I crafted some barrels. And we're gonna get some composting going. By the way, guys, let me know if the music's too loud or if I'm too loud or too quiet or whatever's going on. That way, oh God, it happened again. Yeah, that's too loud. That's too loud for me.
Like, the tree breaking noise was rendering me deaf. <laughs> so, yeah, I have a long history with these packs. Um, it was my middle brother who got me into this sort of Skyblock pack that Sky Factory is. And by extension, the ones like it, like Stone Block and Lava Block or Volcano Block, or whatever the hell it's called. Um, okay. We have obtained Dirt Block. We will start composting another dirt block. Realizing there was a bit of an error there. Oh, hello. We got another dirt block. Awesome. That actually goes a lot quicker than I remember. Okay, so this dirt block is going to go here. I'm actually going to... Oh god, I almost lost the crafting table. Oh, not right now. I don't know what my roommate's saying, because I've got my headphones on. He doesn't seem to be talking about anything too particularly important, at least for our intents and purposes. Yep, there's the sun. I think I might need to move these barrels. Yeah, I think I need to move these barrels if I'm going to put a tree right there. So yeah, this is more like the Sky Factory that I remember. Oh god. Stop doing that! That's so unnerving! Oh god! Yeah, those are too close together for what I want to do. So I need to put that one one block further out. Because I... Yeah, my crook is broken. Can I repair said crook? Is that a thing in this pack? Yes, it is. Awesome. Repairable crooks instead of disposable ones, although repairing it technically takes the same amount of resources. Yes. Let's uh, get some silkworms rolling. A few of those spreading through. Wow! That is quick! Hey Pyro, do you, do you want to hear something amusing? This is actually running with more frames than having one block in the world. just breaking those with a silkworm instead of my crook. <laughs> I'm flipping brilliant sometimes, but that was not one of my better moments. 
Oh my gosh, is this tree already infested? Holy crickets. I, holy mongoose in a pizza box, that was fast. used to be even if you put three or four silkworms in you'd get like one infested tree in ten minutes and that got us almost three stacks of string what in the world okay so this Needs to move. Okay. This block too. Catch it. Yes. Haha. <laughs> okay, let's get more saplings going. Okay, so this is brilliant. Siver, yes, totally a siver. It's just a sieve. Come on, Arinia. So yeah, this is how Sky Factory used to work, and it was amazing. And then we got resource trees. And I needed it. I'm gonna go ahead and fill this in out here. So that way I'm not in as much danger of falling into oblivion. Or Skyrim. That'd be weird. So yeah, this is the this is the one thing that always gets me with Skyblock. Is I always, always make sure that I'm not about to fall into just wherever, into the void, into the nether, into just whatever sort of purgatory they have waiting for me. Because I'll do it. If you watch my Sky Factory Four videos, I fall into the void all the time. It's just down. Oh, I'm working on down. <laughs> it's terrible. He's bad. I, I, I was bad at actually try, trying to stay on the damn platforms. But I don't think we need any more silkworms or string for at least a little bit. But let's get some... Uh... Holy crap! Okay. 
That was not what I was expecting, but uh, fair enough. I guess we're just gonna have to get up there and get to work. <laughs> I'm just curious, can you sift cobblestone? Is that a thing you can do? Why did I push the Y key? You can sift gravel, you can sift sand, you can sift dirt and soul sand and earth slime dirt and ichor dirt. Ichor, itch. Itch bin ein Berliner? Itch bin ein jelly donut? Jesus. Dirt, dirt. What? Oh, is that just extra things? Dust, farmland, sky slime, crushed end stone. Crush netherrack and ender slime. Okay, so no, you cannot sieve cobblestone. But you can hammer cobblestone and then sieve that. We'd have to make a hammer first. And that, I think, is well in our future at this particular time. My wood crook is broken. I think what I want to do is, once I get two more saplings planted, good heavens, climbing up in that tree is going to be a bitch. Once I get two more saplings planted, I'm just going to throw the rest of my saplings in to get dirt. Because I need things that I can sieve. You know, one of the one of the reasons I had a bit of trouble with deciding that I wanted to do this pack again was that when I'm starting a new pack, I like packs that, you know, you can you can sort of advertise your stream in and it's not only because, you know, I like to promote my stream, but if I'm streaming my first look at a pack, it helps to have people in chat who know what's going on, you know, who have done the pack enough to be able to sort of inform and advise, and that's not what I wanted. I need to go up. need to go up. I need to go up into this tree. Ah! Damn it. That was not up, that was down. That was very much down. I'm gonna need all these planks for stuff anyway, so meh. Come on, get in the tree. But it's nice to be able to talk to the community around a mod pack and sort of get the lay of the land, you know? See what, they, what they've what they done, what, what they might want to see somebody try, or, you know, just, just little, I don't want to say quality of life, but, you know, tips and tricks of the trade, tools of the trade, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. Tools of the trade. But the problem is, so many of these pack developers also have Twitch channels, and my wood crook is broken. But, you know, a lot of these developers, they have Twitch channels for their community, whether it's building packs or, you know, whether they stream games or other things. 
and they put their bless it. They put their uh, Minecraft, their mod pack community in the same server as their streaming community. Well, of course that means they don't want you cutting in on their territory when it comes to streaming. They don't want you poaching their viewers. So of course they, they all put in no self-promotion rules. They don't even give you a place to promote that you're streaming their pack. And that makes it very hit or miss as to whether or not you're actually going to catch someone who's done that particular pack as a thing, you know, who's worked on that pack and done stuff with it. You know, it's very hit or miss if you're in a community that does something like that. Now, I, I'm not saying I don't understand. I get it, of course. You don't want people cutting in on your streaming community. You know, I'd be very unhappy if someone, especially someone from outside, just started randomly, you know, posting their, their, their streams of stuff on my server, you know. But I'm also not a mod pack developer. And the thing is, if I'm developing a mod pack, Am I really going to stream my own mod pack, you know, outside of development things? No, that, that, it's no fun. I mean, I, I'd be playing, I, I'd be playing the game that I made, sure. But, you know, people want to see other stuff from me. They, they want, I, I hope I'm making sense here. I'm kind of rambling a little bit. Because I'm, I'm trying to finish up this tree here and get some dirt rolling into these sieves. But if people were if people were streaming stuff that I made, you know, like if whenever I release my the RPG that I'm working on, which probably won't be for like two years, or if I ever build the tower defense game I've been thinking of, um, I'd want people to stream that, and I, you know, I'd love to see it. So if people were streaming my stuff, I mean, of course, I'd be like, here, if you're streaming, you know, stuff I've done, let me know. Put it in my server, because, you know, it still shows off my stuff. And I wouldn't really feel that bad about it. But that's just me. You know, I, I hope I'm making a little bit of sense with that. Oh, I thought the sun was coming up. No, it's actually going down. It's getting darker. Well, let's, uh... Let's sieve some stuff. Okay, so we got a lot of stone pebbles. Good. Gives us a good chunk of cobblestone. Got some basalt. Some black stone. Some music. I think we're going to be heading for probably a one minute ad break here pretty quick just to make sure the pre-rolls don't show up in the final few minutes of the stream. But uh, we'll take a look at that here once I consider my next steps. Hammer is going to be our next step, I think. Well, you can make a stone hammer. Or a wooden hammer. I didn't know that. Well, let's do that then. Well, 
don't know, because I don't want to hammer much cobblestone yet. Simply because I want to get a furnace going. You know, furnace, charcoal, charcoal, torches. Torches not getting exploded. So I think I need to do uh, once more with the wooden crook here. Let me just say, I love the Pretzel, Pretzel Rocks collection of music on stream. It's amazing stuff. You know, I, I really think it does better than me frantically hunting around for, you know, the latest Kevin McLeod. Though I do still like Kevin McLeod's music. And I love that he's made so much of it freely available to be used just as long as you credit him. My wooden axe is broken! Ah! Well, you know what? I have fixed it! All right, we're going to go ahead and take a one minute break just while I go ahead and sift some more dirt and things. So don't go away. We're going to go ahead and get into the final 15 minutes of the stream here pretty quick. Talk to you shortly. All right, and we are back. Dark Oak Seed. Ooh. I'm guessing I can plant that to get a new kind of tree. Well, let's go ahead and do this. Yes, we have Dark Oak Sapling. Okay, let's go ahead and get the last couple of pieces of stone that we need for a furnace. Yes! Wait, when did we get a torch? Did I start with a torch? Huh? Someone check the playback and see if I started with a torch. Chests roll in too, because I can tell my inventory is not going to last very long here. Let's just throw everything in the chest for the moment. So three charcoal, torch. Of course, first order of business. Torches. Let's uh cast some illumination on the situation here.
Oh, geez. Uh, was it F7? F8? Okay. Whoa! Jeez. We've gone into full screen. That's much better, actually. I gotta turn this down. Alright, can I hammer these? Let's see if I can hammer these and get stuff. What do I get if I hammer you? Blackstone. Eh. I get nothing. I get anything if I hammer a basalt? In it? I get cobbled for it. And I get nothing if I hammer that. Okay, so it seems the only things I can hammer are regular cobble. Which, well, I can hammer the other things, of course, but I can't turn them into <clears throat> gravel sand or dust. I can, however, pickaxe them very well. And of course, my inventory sorting still works. Hey, hey guy. Pyramid head made. Pyramid head made an appearance outside of the sun. Shift, 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 shift. Yes, twerking actually helps to grow trees. I will continue to twerk aggressively next to this dark oak sapling until it grows for me. Come on, go. You little bird fucking aggressive shift spamming. Hey. Yeah, come on, bro. Are you gonna grow for me? Yep, yeah, I guess not. Fucker. Is this just too close, or am I forgetting how dark oak saplings work? My wood crook is broken. for you. How will you grow for me? Come on. Do the grow. Do the grow. I'm not sure. Well, it, it's doing the sparkles. Maybe I need to just plant the oro. So that you will know, be for right later. Ahead. Instead, I will use more twerkable trees. I, I, I'm wondering that twerking with a torch right there is probably not a good idea. Basically, 
so these two trees should give me enough saplings to slap together enough dirt to get enough cobble to get some gravel and sand and dust and things and stuff. Crook is almost broken too. Let's get two new saplings planted. for my dirt to very quickly compost. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. And start sifting. Yes. Let's load all of my things into here. Yes. Yep, yep. We're, I'm working on... <laughs> Talk shit, get hit. We have now obtained siftable gravel. Let's sift the gravel. And get nothing? Nice. Did I miss a page here? Oh no, it just has a very low chance of dropping anything significant. Yes. Well, that's fun. So I'm definitely going to have to sieve a lot more gravel, which means a lot more trees and things and stuff. But I am out of things to ramble about, and more importantly, I'm kind of running out of time here. So I just figured I'd convey a few last messages not, so be careful. as we go ahead and wrap things up. Of course, thanks everyone so much for tuning in. This was pretty big for my first streaming return. We're going to be streaming every day starting at 6 p.m. Eastern, except Friday. That's the only day that we don't stream at 6 p.m. Eastern because there are other things that I'm doing for the channel in that time space. Uh, on Wednesdays through Sundays, again, Scott except Roman, Fridays. We're streaming for an hour. Mondays and Tuesdays will stream for two hours. And then uh, Mondays and Tuesdays will also have a second stream at 10 p.m. Eastern. That's 7 p.m. Pacific. Um, for those of you who don't catch the first stream. New website is up. PhoenixAura.xyz. In fact, I'll go ahead and link it again right here in the chat. Bang. I forgot that my Minecraft was in full screen. Oh my god, he's stupid. But yeah, there's the new there's the new website. Check it out. Join the Discord if you're not already part of it. Um, consider supporting the channel. Throw some subscriptions our way. Throw some bits our way. We love bits. I'm down below. A tip on my Streamlabs page, either one time or monthly, become a patron. Maybe even check out some merch. However you'd like to support the channel. Every little bit helps us out. And every little bit allows me to spend more time focusing on delivering good content to you, the viewers. Again, this month, of course, we have our February game okay. drawing. You can find out more about that on Discord. We're going to be drawing at the end of the month for two copies of Tabletop Simulator. All of my patrons, Twitch subscribers, and uh, monthly Streamlabs tippers 
are automatically entered. For those of you who aren't any of those things, you have to enter on the Discord. Again, there's more on that in the studio announcements. Yeah, what's up? And my tree grew. Never played it. But yeah, that's all the stuff. We'd love to have more support. We'd love to have more subscribers, more now. views, more followers. Let your friends know that we're going to be doing stuff every day. They might like some of our stuff. Tomorrow it is Kerbal Realism. I'm going to be setting up the Realism Overhaul Pack. Oh my god. And we're going to start a realism career, because why not? It will be the Twitch companion to my YouTube Kerbal Universe Resurrection series starting later this month. Of course, you can find out about all of this in the Discord or by staying tuned to the updates on phoenixaura.xyz. Again, that's phoenixaura, P-H-O-E-N-I-X-A-U-R-A dot X-Y-Z. That's the new website it just launched a couple days ago. It has all our links and updates, and it's going to have more stuff coming soon. You don't want to miss it. For now, from all of us here at Phoenix Aura Studios, and for myself, right here at Studio 9, this is Arinia. Good night.